It's relations radiation from another generation yeah. Making makers out of me and out of you Out of you Open worlds of inspiration Fabrication celebration If you dream it, you can make it You can make, make your dreams come true Wake the population, imagination, illumination Manifest your destination, make a space Exceed all expectations and exclaim the declaration, yeah We can make the world a better place If you dream it, you can make it If you make it, you can be it That's the way that you be that That's the way that Robots get such a bad rap in movies and books and stuff. Ours should be cute and friendly. No way. Cuddly robots are boring. Ours should be edgy. Or maybe before we figure out what this robot looks like, we should agree on what it actually does. The competition at this robotics event is gonna be fierce. How could we make our robot a breakout star? We still can't agree on anything. We think that kids and grown-ups with kids will love a robot that cleans your room. We'll win for sure. And we know that a robot that helps you pick out an outfit based on the weather will reduce the stress of getting ready for school, thus boosting academic performance. The judges will go crazy for it. If we don't have a decision by next week's meeting, we'll have to withdraw from the competition. Sorry, guys. Why, Why are, are you, you so stubborn? stubborn? <laughs> We need an impartial tiebreaker. I know where we can find one, or two. Your idea of a 30 alarm emergency is very different than ours. Clearly you've never dealt with robotics judge number four from the Clinton Charter School. Ugh. To be honest, the idea of trying to choose sides makes my stomach hurt. Ow! See? Don't worry. We know exactly who you need to talk to to settle this. Let's go. Whoa! Gets me every single time. Aha! These must be the visitors with the, what did you call it, Cammy? A mind-blowing, universe-changing problem? You totally sold it, girl. I'm proud. Yes, Professor Seymour. This is Kaylee and Reese. They're having a robot-related disagreement and need a tiebreaker. As Confetti's most awesome inventor, not just because you're my uncle, Dev and I thought you could help them decide what to do. Hopefully without it hurting your stomach. Ow! Professor Seymour, this place is amazing. Thank you so much for helping us. <gasps> shredders! How did you get one of Evil Queen Frivol's robot shredders? She never lets them out of her sight. I didn't get a shredder. I invented it. Queen Frivol took my delightful little invention and turned it into a paper-munching monster. When my daughters were little, they loved glitter. There was so much glitter. 20 years later, I'm still finding it everywhere. <laughs> I was making glitter from shiny metallic paper all the time, so I made this little guy to help me out. The girls named it the Glitterbot. One day, Queen Frivol came to the shop because her electric crown polisher was broken. She saw the girls using the glitter bot and begged for one to make party decorations. I never should have trusted her. Queen Frivol reprogrammed the robot's computer. Instead of making glitter, it went around shredding and destroying everything in the land of confetti. Then she figured out how to make her own shredders and built a bunch of biting bug-eyed bots to terrorize confetti. Perfectly said, Dev. I never imagined that the same robot could do happy, joyful things and mean, destructive things. Now, where were we? Ah, yes. Deciding the fate of the universe. I mean, robots. So you and Queen Fribble had very different ideas about what you wanted the robot to do. And that one robot was programmed to do two different things. Well, one of them was pretty terrible, but still. But our one robot could do two different and awesome things. <laughs> Sounds like my tie-breaking skills are no longer needed. Phew! My stomach's feeling better already. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you soon. Guys, 
there's a way for us to make our robot so it does both of the things we want it to. Instead of focusing on the output, what the robot does, it's all about the information we give to it, the input. We just need to program it with the info it needs to make decisions. Like how to pick up different objects and where to put them. And what weather conditions match different types of clothes. Can you hand me that temperature sensor, please? Do you think the claw opens wide enough? We need to increase the angle so it opens enough to pick up bigger objects, like a dirty dish. <laughs> Not that I'd ever have those in my room, of course. <laughs>